All right, everybody. Welcome back to Calendar Math with Miss Udo. Do you know what today is? That's right. It's Challenge Day. I am so excited about announcing today's winners. But first, let's review our calendar. So what month is it, guys? Come on now. We are almost through the month. Do you know what month it is? Remember, it's the month that comes after April, but before June. That's right, we are in the month of May. Well, what about the day of the week? Well, if it's challenge day, challenge day occurs on the same day every week. It's the end of the week. It's the day before we start our weekend. So what day is it? That's right, today is Friday. And if today is Friday, then what was yesterday? You got it, yesterday was Thursday. Well, if yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, what will tomorrow be? It'll be the weekend. Yes, tomorrow will be Saturday. Now let's take a look at our calendar. Remember, the calendar assigns one number to every day of the month. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. What number comes after 21? Did you say 22? If you did, you're absolutely correct. Great job, guys. So let's go over our date. Remember, when we say the date, we start with the day of the week, and then we say the month, the number date, and then the year. Here we go. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. One more time for good measure. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. All right, here is the moment you've been waiting for. This week's Challenge Day winners are... Wow, look at all of the students that correctly answered this week's challenge problem. But remember, usually I only pick one winner from each group, but there were so many correct responses, I couldn't help myself. And so I put all the numbers in the, all the names in the generator and I picked two names from each grade level in my name generator. So for our littles, receiving a prize this week is Akeem H and Yato R. From my middles, Nathaniel and Talil. And then my senior scholars receiving a prize this week for Challenge Day are Masai C and Sakaya. Those students will all be hearing from me either through Google Classroom or through their email to find out about the prize that you will be receiving very soon. Great job, guys. Now to the rest of you who answered the problem correctly this week, I celebrate you guys as well. Keep on trying and maybe you'll be next week's winner. Also, guys, please make sure you give me your first name and at least your last initial when you answer your problem in the Nearpod. Because if you make up a name and you give that to me, there's no way I'm gonna be able to find you and give you your prize. So you gotta make sure you give me a correct name so that you can get your prize. So let's talk about next week. How do I prepare for the challenge day problem? Well, first, you wanna make sure you watch all of the calendar math lessons from the week. Those lessons, if you are in pre-K kindergarten or first grade, are found on Class Dojo with your parents. If you are in second, third, fourth, or fifth grade, go to your Google Classroom, go to the problem of the day tab, and watch those videos with me every single day. After you've watched all of the videos for the week, you can submit your answer when I post it to your Google Classroom, and then you tune in the following Friday for shout outs and grade level winners. That says one winner, this week I did too. So let's take a look at this week's problems. For our little people, all week we've been talking about place value. And so here's what I want you to do. We have used Ms. Udo's candy shop to help us understand place value. What I want you to do is circle the pictures that represent the number 24. You can solve your problem going to the Nearpod code 
I-W-P-F-Y. Middles, so that's my second and third graders. All week, we've been talking about compare, comparing fractions using fraction strips. Your problem this week says, identify two fractions that are equivalent to one third. Use the boxes below to model your fractions. And so you are going to draw pictures of fractions and show me what two fractions are equal to one third. And there's several answers that you can give, but make sure you watch the videos so that you have a strategy. Again, to answer your problem, go to the Nearpod. Your code is BWUOV. And finally, my senior scholars, fourth and fifth grade. Your problem this week is a multiplication problem, two digit by two digit, and we're using an area model, 27 times 33. So I want you to completely solve this problem, showing all of your work in the area model at H-B-O-W-I. So again, I'm going to post a link for all of the Nearpods on your Google Classrooms so that you have easy access to them. You must respond by next Wednesday to be considered for a prize. Again, shout out to all who participated and special shout out to all of our winners. You will be hearing from me next week. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Remember, Monday is a holiday, so we won't have class, but I will probably still post a video for you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.